Okay, yes. Thank you. So, the, um, as anticipated by Hankel, right now there's a, a big effort to uh, build on top of the lesson learned that we have, uh, uh, that ECMWF and us as well have, have working, uh, working on the CDS. And um, we are going to uh, do a, a really top down approach that, uh, that is a, a complete redesign which in will include a lot of um, new features, and this is what I will be uh, mostly talking about, less than uh, the technical side, which is also very interesting, but more the things that can be seen by uh, users and the people in the audience. So, um, first, very quick outline, uh, what is the scope of the uh, modernization, and then uh, what is the climate uh, and atmospheric and atmosphere data store, and then one by one the most interesting things that are going to change uh, and what instead is going to stay because it has served the the system well. So first of all, uh, the modernization will involve both the climate data store and the atmosphere data store. These are the two systems that currently are serving the uh, climate change service data and the atmospheric. Uh, uh, monitoring service data. So the current infrastructure and toolbox uh, are the ones that are in operation and they have been built uh, by CMWF and set of partners. At the moment, uh, uh, we as Be Open with a few partners uh, are maintaining the current software. Um, uh, and the system is all operated by uh, ECMWF. It's important that the CDS and the CADS in the future is larger than the software. That is just the part that I'm talking right now. So ECMWF is always in charge of the real operation and allocating resources and uh, doing user support, etc. We are just uh, going for the, um, for the software layer. Uh, in the future, the, uh, the software layer will be called the climate and atmosphere data store so that we recognize the fact that it's used by the atmosphere as well. And this is currently developed uh, by uh, ECMWF and Be Open and the uh, 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 small, uh, larger set of partners than the one that are doing the maintenance. And this, is, this will be operated again by ECMWF, but the software will be for most part, all new. So what are the goals? That is, what is the reason that we are doing a, a modernization and not just an evolution or, I mean, maintenance of the system? There are a few things that, uh, yes, came from users and uh, that we want to, to improve. The, the first one is the real, um, uh, we want to improve cadre usability, providing a, a programmatic API and also improving the portal, but the, mon but the really new stuff, the all new uh, feature will be a catalog API that you, can op uh, that you can use to explore which data sets are available and what are the metadata of the, of the, data, of the data sets. Uh, in a programmatic way, in particular, I mean, we will see what are the kind of questions that we think uh, are useful to, to uh, ask to this API. Uh, the, um, uh, we will have an improved download API. The download API is the one that is really good right now, but we want to add like self documentation, etc. So this one it will be more an evolution than a revolution, and we want to improve uh, management of running requests. Uh, for the toolbox, uh, we want to improve usability. Um, um, especially, to uh, the idea is to create a real open platform. This is the main uh, complaint that we have with the previous toolbox that was considered a close, too, too close of a platform that works well and it, in, it uh, interoperates well with all other open source tools and especially that can run on local environments or your own machine uh, and as, at the same time as on a remote, on a remote toolbox uh, at ECMWF uh, systems. And we want to give users more control of the, on, on the applications. 
There are then a couple of, uh, I mean, there are a lot more to the modernization. That is, we improve back office workflows for partners that are contributing to the data store. And a, a big in, uh, upgrade in technologies and the infrastructure level. That is, uh, we not, will not be covering this part, but it's a lot of, a lot of, uh, 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 a big part of the work that is being done at the moment uh, is a renovation in the infrastructure so that the system is future proof and it, it is as performant, at least as performant as the one that we have and, and possibly much better. So, don't want to scare you too much, but just want to show the fact that the system is very complex. The blue stuff is the things that is part of the, um, of the modernization, but then there's a whole web of uh, connections with other services that are both of ECMWF and external providers, etc. In particular, what people usually see is that uh, as a user, people will connect to the web portal and or use the uh, API, the, the API client to do the download. Or this is something that is not very good right now and that we want to get better, uh, access directly the data set via a web search. So we want to improve the uh, 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 search engine discoverability of the data sets. Um, Every component will have, it's well defined, will have slightly different uh, uh, um, pace. Uh, so some of the things that are more pressing, like the toolbox, may go a little bit faster. Other things like full scale applications will be later. But the, 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 um, the idea is to produce, um, as soon as we have something ready to start really hammering it and, and show to the, especially to the close partners. So what is the catalog and download a bit? What is the um, improvement that we want to uh, add to the uh, catalog API? First, right now the catalog, uh, uh, the catalog system will have a public API, which it doesn't have, and the idea is to improve data discovery. At the moment, there's no way to know which data sets are available if you don't go to the website. Instead, we intend to do something like listing all current projections or listing uh, searching observation data set, especially doing queries like uh, list all data sets uh, um, with the data within a certain data range. That is the one that I'm uh, interested in, for example. Uh, data description itself will be improved, uh, description and metadata, so that you can, for example, uh, query to the system, uh, when was this data set last updated? This is one of the uh, uh, features that we have heard. And also, what is the first and last available time for this data set? So uh, a few other things that right now are uh, only possible if you go through the if, through the web. The download part uh, will stay. The concept will be mostly similar. You will have a client that um, uh, access, accesses the um, uh, the download part where you can uh, um, submit a request, uh, wait for the result, and then download it. But it will be uh, the request. Uh, API will include a self-description that you can use, for example, if you have automatic tool, advanced users can use with automatic tools to check that the request that they are doing is valid. Uh, request management will be, I mean, this is something like asking how many requests I have submitted, what are the links that I need to use to, to, to check them so that uh, it's easier to manage the work that you are doing on the download work that you are doing on the, on the CIS. From the point of view of the toolbox and the toolbox applications, as I said, this is this will be big change. This is the most radical change, let's say, from the um, uh, from the old system. And this development will be led by ECMWF. So somehow this is uh, very much part of this uh, modernization, but it's uh, not just on us as providers, but on a, a big chunk is on ECMWF itself. The main point is that the idea is to uh, provide. Uh, tools and libraries that you can use on your machine or uh, you can have access to in the um, ECMWF machines. So it's uh, much more transparent, much more similar to what you are already doing with all kinds of uh, libraries. The point is that those libraries will be uh, very good at working with our data. Uh, there will be a CDS specific download and harmonization package, which has anyway a much wider scope. So all the tools are thought to be 
Very useful for the CADS, but uh, useful in general. More useful uh, uh, even in, uh, without the CDS itself. Uh, one of the new things, this is most interesting to partners, is that we will have a full back office component uh, de uh, devoted to the evaluation and quality control. This is something that is pretty new. I mean, there is a CMS, but this, uh, but this is a big update uh, in the uh, upgrading the capabilities of the uh, evaluation and quality control system. So it, it will manage entire workflow, have actors, uh, so um, people can check the status of the of how the information is going, the quality assurance report uh, are going through the system. The, it will be fully integrated with the DS catalog, so you can get the EQC information in the catalog itself. And there will be seamless integration with web portal. These are all things that are um, just better integration between EQC and the CDS. Finally, there's uh, a, an additional step that is the observation repository. This is an all new uh, component of the CDS. That is right now observations are handled uh, one by one. And right now there's big effort to have a common data model for observations that will allow us to have just a central repository for very different observations. And which will again integrate in the CDS as all the observations are already, but with much easier uh, workflow in the, um, in the backend. Timeline, very quickly, this, the modernization effort, so the software, start, the, the development of software started uh, in February this year, and we did an analysis phase that was pretty long because the system is pretty complex, and we started development uh, in June. Uh, we, have, uh, we are on a three month internal release schedule for now, we don't have uh, anything to show to the outside. It's way too early. As I said, we are really working on the technology side. Uh, as soon as something it is interesting for uh, alpha users, for users that want to see an alpha release, uh, we are happy to get people on board. As I said, different components will have different release targets, like toolbox, observation repository, and EQC are uh, relatively uh, autonomous, so they may be uh, release independently, but the full system is the target to open the new system, so to change from the CDS to the CADS. It's end of 23, beginning of 24. And that's all. Thank you. Much obliged for your patience with time management, uh, Alessandro. Any questions for Alessandro at this point? Yes, we have one there. Hello, except of uh, open source Python tools, are you planning to enable other open source tools to access the, the system? So to access, yes, in the sense that we are providing a, a catalog, both the catalog and the download API are just um, um, uh, REST API, HTTP REST API. By the way, since we are here, the OGC uh, representative, uh, we are now trying to get uh, to stick to OGC API standards, so you should have tools uh, in any language. The client that we provide is for Python, so if you use Python, probably you have some of the steps that uh, are easier to use. I mean, as a user, you will be served a little bit better. We don't have plan right now to immediately support us, so for us to produce uh, a client in other languages, but we may support uh, other groups that do, other developers that do. Like for the CDS API, I think other implementation in other languages have appeared uh, and they're working. Thank you very much, Alessandro. Thank you.